What's going on YouTube? Wanted to make another quick video for my rotary heads out there. Um, not sure if this might help anyone, but I just want to share with you guys what I did. Now, as you know, the RX-8 is becoming a little more popular, but at the same time, it is older and the parts are getting harder and harder to find. So if anyone has ever looked at RX-8 oil coolers, especially the OEM versions, they run for anywhere from $600 to $750 each. And installing these things is a bit painful. Um, the oil co cooler lines might be rusted. Long story short, it might be a pain. But there's a hack because a lot of these fins over the years, they get, sm they get smashed. Could be from pro um, power washers, just driving generally, just age. So mines were all pretty much banged up. And as you can imagine, that's going to impact your cooling abilities or capacity so what i did is i took one of these let me see if i can see the video one of these right and i a little tedious but i just went and took the first layer see so this one you could do it let me see if i can do it here and strain them out one by one yeah i know but it's cheaper let me see if i can get this one out yeah, this one's pretty much gone. But this was all banged up. Now, they look so much better. I did this for both sides and um, just wanted to share this with um, someone out there. It's very easy. It's a tedious process, but uh, you could just take one of these and slowly, and very carefully, just take that first layer that's banged up. Remove it. It comes out very easy. You have to be careful because if you pull it, it will come off the whole thing. Remove that first layer and just straighten it out. And sure enough, they look somewhat decent. All right. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, and uh, good luck. Trust me, they didn't look like this uh, before. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but uh, so it looks a lot better um, than what it does in the camera. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.